This was the Doctor Who Holiday Special. Hello everyone, I am Mecca here, and I'm the 42, the one the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy! I watched the Doctor, it's a holiday special, it's not a Christmas special, it's not a New Year's special, it barely has anything to do with anything. It's just an excuse to resurrect an old alien species that is going to be reason enough for people like me to even tune in still. You know, okay, I like Daleks, I like Captain Jack, this is the resurrection of the Daleks. Now, full disclosure, this will have a lot of spoilers in it because how can you really spoil something that's already rotten, but you know. We're, we're going to still put the little spoiler warning at the beginning. Warning, this is a spoiler alert. The following information may contain spoilers. You have been warned. And I will tell you, I did try and watch this earlier today. I did stop it and come back to it after a two hour nap because that's how engaging this was. So I'll, I'll give you a quick recap of the first seven minutes that I made it through the first time I watched this episode. The first seven minutes, we see Mr. Big from Sex and the City have, like, demonstrate these new Daleks, and they're basically using them to spray down a bunch of rioters. And I'm like, okay, you, you got, you, you sold. Where do I, where do we, where do we, where do we acquire some? And that, that that's how you, that's how you lose sympathy from your audience base. Right? When, when, you, when you say this, you're supposed to, what, tell me this is a bad guy? Well, and, and yeah, I did stop it, came back to where I had left off, and there's more to it than that. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is not an engaging or entertaining piece of entertainment. This is not something that is going to take you along on a journey and you're going to have fun with and have this ride and this adventure. It does none of that. And that is one thing that modern day inter I just watched Cobra Kai and I marathoned every single episode of season three. Definitely check out that. I did not spoil anything for that one for you guys. And I enjoyed the crap out of that one. That's, that's how you do it. You get me engaged to where I keep on a watch. I keep wanting to watch. This doesn't do that for the Doctor Who special. We have Mr. Big, who was the guy with the spiders last time, the arachnids in New York one. He had the giant spider, but it wasn't really aliens. It was all environmental stuff bad. Because we needed a lecture on Doctor Who. You know, a show about aliens in space and time. No, no, no. It's still white man bad. And that's still pretty much more of the same. And it's the same white man because, well, let's face it. Everybody blame, blames all of their problems on the same one white man on, in all of eternity right now. Even though, that's the thing. That's the thing. This one white, old, old white dude, right? They're just going to say, oh, well, he's the one who built the pyramids. Therefore, we can blame him so we can go re and wah. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm inserting a little bit of social commentary in this one because that's what they tried to do for about a split second. Oh, oh, and I should point out the word police box is still on the TARDIS, by the way, so they didn't really commit to any of their their little, you know, the end of the modern day giving into the, the, the causes and the, the woke crowds and those sort of things. They didn't, they didn't commit. Now this episode, we got to go in and recap and I will review it. But like I said, it's not entertaining, it's not engaging, it's not fun. There's a split second of fun here and there. So, what do we have? We have Yaz and the and Ryan and Graham. We have those three trying to figure out where the Doctor is. Meanwhile, we have the Doctor going through the greatest hits of all the bad guys that we've seen before, including the little cute alien, you know, the little, the little munchy guy who eats everything. Oh yeah, he was so cute, I liked him. He was from the first season with her. I like that one. So we see, you know, we see like the silence, we see the weeping angels, you know, all the, hey, remember this, remember that, all the little references, because that's what you need in a Doctor Who episode, because that's, it's for modern day people. That's all they're going to understand, right? So we see all of that while, while the Doctor's wandering around on the ship for years, years, apparently 10 months has gone by in with our companions. And yeah, this does definitely point out the fact and it solves the problem of too many people on the TARDIS right now. We have, finally, finally we get some Doctor Who-isms in a Doctor Who moment, and I love to point out that you needed, you needed a white male to come in and rescue the doctor because she couldn't do it on her own. You know, had she been, you know, a good doctor or a qualified doctor, she would have, I don't know, maybe regenerated to try and blow a hole in the side of the prison or something so she could escape. No, no, she waits there for years, like 20 years, decades, I can't even remember how long. 
she's in there decades and captain jack has to commit a lot of crimes just to come in and save her so he has an actual exciting and interesting moment i'm like oh this almost feels like doctor who okay what's next what's next and he gets her out of this jail. So so they're still committing to this timeless child crap where she doesn't remember who she is. I think they can still retcon that. They can still just say, oh yeah, it was a trick from the master just to make you think that that you're worse than you are, just to make you think and just to make you question. Just a bit of deception. I think they could still fix it and they could still retcon that if the writing gets better, but it's still... I, th I think it might have to something to do with the directing and the pacing and... It's, it's just paced so poorly. What, one of the things that they do, every time, you know, something something dramatic needs to happen, they slow the pace down to a crawl. This is exactly what they do with Wonder Woman. They slow the pace down. They play the sappy, dramatically, overly dramatic, heavy music. And they try and force you with these little emotional manipulations and emotional cues. These little triggers like, oh, well, here's the sad music and here's the low lighting and here's the weepy stuff. Just to try and manipulate the audience into having an emotional reaction without having it natural or organic or having any real reason or build up to said emotional reaction, right? So none of it's legit. Nobody, like, I don't care what's going on with these characters. None of them are interesting. And we had about a minute of that with, with Captain Jack and the doctor, but they don't have any chemistry together at all. He's all flirting with Graham. He's flirting with the old guy more than he is and, and it's not so much even chemistry to be like a romanticized thing with Captain Jack. But man, there, there's a part of this episode. All right, so so spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. If you're watching this, you know, it's going to have spoilers in it. Mr. Big from Sex and the City is now 3D printing a bunch of Daleks. He's got an assistant dude who clones one. And of course, he, he orders it to be incinerated. The guy goes to try and incinerate the Dalek. And, of course, it breaks out and takes over his body because, of course, it does. Convinces the guy to, well, well, manipulates the guy, uses his body to go off and grow more clones. Meanwhile, Mr. Big doesn't know anything's wrong, thinks everything's all hunky-dory. He keeps making Dalek, 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 like the bodies, thinking that they're just going to be security drones. Meanwhile, you've got the, whatever new Lady Wham and Prime Minister lady coming in and saying, Hey! This is our new security. Aren't we fabulous? We're wonderful. We have a whole bunch of robot drones to make you safe from, from, from what? From what? Are they actually admitting that rioters are a problem and you need to, you need to have some solution for it? Is that what they're doing now? Because, because they kind of, they kind of took almost that stance a little bit, or they maybe took the stance a little bit of, well, this is bad, and so are the people trying to keep you safe. So, we'll just solve it with robots. <laughs> With, with alien robots that are designed to exterminate. Didn't they ever watch Doctor Who? I mean, it's been on for 50 fucking years. Of course, they haven't seen it, though. I know. I know you can't watch something while you're in it. But that would be more entertaining. This show needs to have some self-aware levity to be entertaining and engaging. It slows itself down and it takes itself way too seriously. The lighting on some of these shots are so overly dramatic and sad. Like, I hate how the TARDIS is lit. I really, really do. It just, it's just every single scene makes me think that they're trying to have like us go through this end of life sort of dramatic, like we're saying goodbye to a loved one sort of thing. And not every scene warrants that. All right, so, so fast forward. There's not a whole lot that happens in this episode. And it's basically just people coming in and out of the TARDIS. Coming soon to BBC America, a bunch of assholes and a TARDIS. Watch them going into the TARDIS. Watch them walking out of the TARDIS, popping in and out of random rooms. Seriously, this is like Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd in the waiter sketch. Pick up pie. Roger. Your pie, sir. Do you like action, suspense, and intrigue? Well, too bad. Watch them talk about their feelings. Well, at least there's Captain Jack. Coming to whichever popular streaming service you happen to subscribe to. Or not, who cares? You know, they go in the TARDIS, they come out of the TARDIS, they, they go back in the TARDIS, they come out of the TARDIS again, they take Mr. Big into the TARDIS, and they take him out of the TARDIS, they end up in, in Japan, where they're growing clones and clones and clones of Daleks. Oh, this is, this is actually kind of good. I kind of liked for about a split second, you got Yaz going off with Jack, because, and then of course she has, has to talk down to him, she has to mansplain, or woman's plane to him, whatever, whatever it is, however you call it. 
So she's got to give a little dig at his masculinity. And I'm like, dude, no, no, no. Jack is one of the good parts of this. That He's probably the only reason why I even wanted to watch this episode at all, just to see how he was, how, he, how they're going to handle it. And Captain Jack should just take over the role of Doctor Who. They should just spin him off, have him and Yaz go off on it, or him and a companion, just have him continue Kind of like they did with Torchwood, only not have it focused and located on Earth, right? Just have Jack be in the continuing of it. Like, have this be the last regeneration. Have this be something. Because the Doctor Who story is, you know, if you really, really, really want to replace, replace it with Jack. Because that was the sense of adventure, right? That was the sense of fun. That is the mysterious, awesome alien guy coming to swoop you away, take you away onto, onto strange new planets throughout space and time. That, that is Doctor Who to me. And the fact that we got it for about a split second with Captain Jack and Yaz. All right, all right. All right. You're just making the rest of the episode worse in comparison, though, by having one or two good things. And this was so boring and unengaging that I started flipping through looking for my other you know, my actual choice of what I would watch for a New Year's special, which is Geki no Sky, the Japanese Batsu game show where when they laugh, they get the music and they get a whack on the backside for laughing. And it's hilarious and I love it so much more than this because it's fun. It's fun and it's funny. And it's a New Year's tradition, damn it. And, and you know what? When, when I'm looking for a Doctor Who tradition, I want a Christmas special. I want it to have something to do with Christmas. Give me something. Don't give me this lazy BS excuse of, oh, well, we don't know. We don't have any more stories or Christmas specials. Bite me. Bite me, Doctor Who. You're giving me a New Year's special that has nothing to do with New Year's. I already have a New Year's tradition. Thank you very much. And I would rather watch anything than the Doctor Who Christmas special. I just watched Cobra Kai. So no, I'm not going to go easy on it. And for anybody who says, oh, give Jodie a chance. Give Jodie a chance as the doctor. It's not her so much as the problem. She's just not fun and engaging and interesting and given anything interesting to do. She's just going around going, eh, 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 and making faces all over the place. Who wants to watch that? Nobody wants to watch a, a, an old woman make faces. If they did, they would watch my channel because I'm just making faces the camera too. Uh and, and that's kind of the problem. It is not anything. I've, we've given her a chance for the past, how many seasons? I've, I've sat through two seasons of this crap. And between Chimball's writing and show running and being behind the scenes and guiding the direction of the show and the lighting, the mood, the tone, the pacing. What, where else are you going to go with this? I mean, seriously, tighten these episodes up quite a bit. Make it more engaging and entertaining. Make them half hours. Make them half hour long, right? Make them comedies. Make them fun again. Science fiction and entertainment has to entertain me or else there's no reason to watch it. Is there any reason to watch this episode? No, no, there's not. And I hear that their ratings keep dropping and dropping. I hear that this is the lowest rated one. I'll probably do a special separate video on that at some point. You know, when I can form words <laughs> at the same time. Happy New Year, everyone. I am Mecca Red of 42, and I will see you guys on the next video live stream or ever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.